Greetings hobbyists, this is our Sons of Vool. In this video we're going to have a look at the Puncher add-on from Machine. So first I thought it'd be worth mentioning that there's two ways of getting this add-on. The first is that if you buy the Deus Ex version of Machine Tools, so you can get Machine Tools for free on Gumroad, but you can also get the Deus Ex version which comes with some extra things, such as the Edge Constrained Transform, Group Gizmos, which is really cool, and Punch It as a tool. Now you can also buy Punch It on its own as an add-on, and if you do then it gets all the updates with it. But at the moment my version of Punch It with the Deus Ex works perfectly well, and it does everything that it's meant to do. So it's up to you which one of those you go with. So I've created this object here which has got a range of faces and angles and it's going to give us a good chance to have a look at what the punch it tool does. Now the first thing I should mention is the punch it tool is in a way similar to the extrude manifold tool. So if I alt and E you can see we've got punch it as an option down here once we've got the Deus Ex version of machine tools installed. But if I click extrude manifold and then drag down that's what the extrude manifold tool does. And if I come over here and alt E and punch it you can see we've got a very similar thing. So, well, what's the point in this add-on? Well, let's go through this. So first of all, if I just come here and do the extrude manifolds option, if I go further than the edge of this object, then it, well, has a problem and it goes silly, which is then gonna lead to a non-manifold mesh, which causes us loads of problems. Let's undo that. Alternatively, if I click here and press Alt E and then punch it and drag down, you can see that that is gonna create a perfectly clean mesh. So much better in that regard. It also could do a lot of other tricks. For example, if I come here and Alt E and then extrude manifold, the only option I've got is to move exactly along the normal of my object. Whereas if I Alt E and then punch it, we can do that as well, but we also get some really cool options where I can hold down E and it will try to match it to a nearby edge. So for example, I could go there, select that edge, drag along, and now we've got it done in that direction, which I think you'll agree is a really, really nice additional feature for that to have. If I just undo that, we can also see it working then on the other one as well. So I can go along E, click to there, and then select. So really useful. The other thing that it has is as well as selecting to an edge, you can choose whether you want to have it go along the normals or not. For example, if I just select here and then Alt E and then use the extrude manifold, this has to go in this direction and you'll see it's actually having a problem here where it's not quite working this out correctly. We'll talk about that at another point. Whereas if I Alt E and then punch it, this is gonna work much better, perfectly fine, but also as well as that, if I just do that again, we don't have to go directly on the average normal. We can press N and it will go for the normals of all of those combined. Now, you do have the issue that if you go too far, it will have problems with that in a similar way to you would if you do most beveled extrusions too far or insets. But somewhere like there, and that works really, really nicely. So we've got that as an option. And if you wanted to, because it will work, you can still Alt E and punch it and have that one go through somewhere there. And you'll see it sort of gets everything sorted. The other thing that this can do, which I think is a really nice touch, is I've intentionally screwed up this side here. I've effectively moved the edge at the bottom basically a one hundredth of a millimetre outwards, which sometimes happens when you do things like booleans, you won't get this perfect. And this can cause problems if I go into face mode again, Alt E and then use punch it. If I move down here and click, you can see we've got this face that was left over in a similar way to we saw was happening over here when we used our extrude long normal tools. Now you'll notice if I move this up here, where we've got this finalizing, we've got this option of trying to push or pull. And you can also do both simultaneously with W. You can see these options at the bottom of the screen there. Now, what pulling does is pulling slightly extrudes this, and this is by really tiny amounts. This is not something you should be using as a tool to try and extrude things further. There's no point doing that. You just use punch it going to the sides, but it will allow it to go a little further if you've got an issue, or if you press E on the outside edge, it'll extend a little further there. So for example, if I press E, you can see me having done that a couple of times, and then now it's fixed that problem. So it just pulls that out, or pushes it out a little bit further each time. So again, Alt E, punch it down there, we've got a problem, and I can also do that with the W, so there we go, and fixed. So a great tool that allows you to do really funky things and have all these extra options when you want to extrude faces creating a manifold object. 
Now I will say, and they do say this on the documentation, that with any version of extruding like this, you can cause problems, which can cause non-manifold meshes. If you do want to solve that, Machine Tools has the answer. All you need to do is just press three and it will remove any doubled up vertices or problems that you've got. And normally that will solve any issues that you're gonna have. So it's all included in that Machine Tools Deus Ex tool. So let me know what you think and hopefully you'll have some fun with that. Have a great day, guys.